Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic that are often invisible to the naked eye. They are so small that they can easily be overlooked, but their impact is anything but small. They are smaller than 5 millimeters, which is very small. To put it in perspective, that's about the size of a sesame seed or a grain of sand. These tiny pieces come from larger plastic items that break down over time. Everyday items like water bottles, plastic bags, and even synthetic clothing shed microplastics as they degrade. Plastic bottles, bags, and packaging can all become microplastics. These items are ubiquitous in our daily lives, and their disposal often leads to environmental contamination. When exposed to sunlight and water these plastics break apart into smaller and smaller pieces. This process, known as photodegradation, accelerates the fragmentation of plastic waste. These tiny pieces of plastic are a big problem for our environment. They infiltrate our soil, waterways, and even the air we breathe, posing a threat to wildlife and human health. They pollute our oceans, rivers, and even our drinking water. Microplastics have been found in the most remote parts of the world, highlighting the pervasive nature of this pollution. Addressing this issue is crucial for the health of our planet and future generations. Microplastics can enter our drinking water in many ways. These tiny plastic particles, often less than 5 millimeters in size, are virtually invisible to the naked eye, but can have significant impacts on our health and the environment. One way is through wastewater treatment plants. These facilities are designed to clean our water but they aren't always equipped to filter out microplastics. When we wash clothes made of synthetic fabrics like polyester, tiny plastic fibers are released. These fibers are so small that they can easily pass through the filters in our washing machines. These fibers can pass through wastewater treatment plants and end up in our rivers and lakes. Once in these water bodies, they can be ingested by aquatic life, entering the food chain and eventually making their way back to us. Another way microplastics contaminate our water is through plastic pollution. Every year, millions of tons of plastic waste are discarded improperly, finding their way into our natural water sources. Plastic bottles, bags, and other trash can end up in our waterways. These items can float for long distances, spreading pollution far and wide. Over time, these larger pieces of plastic break down into microplastics. This process is accelerated by sunlight, wind, and water movement, which fragment the plastic into smaller and smaller pieces. These tiny pieces can stay in the environment for a very long time. They are incredibly durable and can persist for hundreds of years, posing a long-term threat to ecosystems and human health. Scientists are still studying the effects of microplastics on human health. Some studies suggest that microplastics may be harmful to humans. Microplastics can absorb harmful chemicals from the environment. If we ingest these microplastics, these chemicals could enter our bodies. More research is needed to fully understand the risks of microplastics. However, it's important to be aware of the potential dangers. Section 4. Scientists investigate microplastics. Scientists around the world are working hard to understand microplastic pollution. This issue has become a global concern as microplastics have been found in oceans, rivers, and even in the air we breathe. Researchers are tirelessly collecting samples from different environments to analyze the extent of contamination. They are studying how microplastics affect the environment and human health. These tiny plastic particles can be ingested by marine life, which can then enter the food chain, potentially impacting human health. Scientists are conducting various environmental impact studies and health assessments to understand these effects better. Researchers are also developing new technologies to remove microplastics from our water. Innovative solutions are being tested in laboratories worldwide, aiming to create effective methods for filtering out these pollutants. These technologies include advanced filtration systems. Engineers are designing sophisticated filters that can capture even the smallest plastic particles, ensuring cleaner water for all, and even using natural materials like mussels to filter out microplastics. These marine organisms have shown promise in absorbing and trapping microplastics, offering a more sustainable and eco-friendly solution. This research is essential to finding solutions to this growing problem. By understanding the sources and impacts of microplastics, scientists can develop strategies to mitigate their presence in the environment, ensuring a healthier planet for future generations. Section 5. Keeping our water clean. We can all do our part to reduce microplastic pollution. We can use fewer single-use plastics like bottles and bags. We can choose clothes made from natural fibers like cotton, 
and we can support organizations working to clean up our waterways. By taking action we can protect our planet and ensure clean water for future generations.